1981, there was a, a series of cases um, emerging in San Francisco of uh, mainly men with a, a rare kind of pneumonia, which hadn't been seen before except in people who had compromised immune systems. And soon after that, there were also cases emerging of uh, people with a rare kind of cancer called Kaposi's sarcoma, again associated with having um, immune compromise. And so these cases were reported at the Centers for Disease Control in the US. They um, concluded that this was a, a new condition which was uh, characterized by defective cellular immunity, and it was called Acquired Immune Deficiency Syndrome, or AIDS. It took uh, a couple of years to figure out what was the cause, um, but later uh, a virus was identified as the causative agent, a virus that we now know as human immunodeficiency virus type 1 or HIV-1. At the time we knew nothing, so there was obviously no um, nothing known about treatment, there was no effective treatment, and it was clear that this was a very rapidly progressive disease that was fatal, and so there was a huge effort immediately initiated to try and develop effective treatment. So if we jump forward to around 1987, a drug called um, AZT or Zidovudine was approved um, for treatment of HIV. This was originally developed as a, as a kind of chemotherapy, um, but it was shown to have activity against the virus and it was the, it was the first treatment. Uh, it was uh, not a very effective drug. It provided some control for a few months, but the virus rapidly became uh, resistant to it. And other drugs that were developed that worked in a similar way. They worked by inhibiting the viral enzyme that it uses to replicate. Um, uh, similarly, these other drugs also were not very effective and the virus became resistant to them. And they also had quite um, serious side effects. For a while, the best that could be done in terms of treatment was to give people a drug that might keep them um, reasonably well for a period of time, but eventually they would progress. So we have now very effective treatment, antiretroviral therapy, which is a, a combination of drugs that hit the virus in different ways. Uh, they have to be used together to stop the virus becoming resistant. Uh, and they have made a huge difference to people's lives, but the drugs only work if they're taken uh, daily for the rest of the person's life. That was an unbelievable um, period of time and which gave optimism for the first time in the, in the history of this disease. People realised they could live with the virus, they could actually plan for a future, having had to live prior to that with what was essentially a, a death sentence. If we now think about a functional cure where people wouldn't need to take treatment forever and could be sure that they wouldn't pass on the infection to their partners, then that would be transformational. So HIV is, is very well adapted to avoid being discovered by the immune system. It inserts its DNA into host chromosomes in, in immune cells. So it's very difficult to get rid of HIV without destroying those cells or without permanently silencing the virus. Um, both of these are very difficult to do and we don't have any safe or effective um, agents that can do that. So we have to find out how we can eliminate those cells in the body where HIV is hiding. So that's one, that's probably the biggest challenge is that it's, it's hiding throughout uh, lymphoid tissues in the body. The second is in, in many tissues, um, some of these are what we call uh, immune privilege sites, which means the immune system can't get into those places where HIV is hiding. So you need a treatment that would um, work in all tissues in the body where HIV can be found. And thirdly, uh, HIV replicates at a high rate. So by the time somebody is diagnosed with HIV, they are probably carrying a swarm of viruses that are um, all slightly different from each other which means that you've then got uh, multiple targets that you have to, to hit with your intervention. So it means either having uh, a, a, an approach that might be a combination of agents, or it means you have to hit the virus in a place where it can't mutate. In other words, a, a conserved target. It's a privilege to be able to work on HIV at Immunicore, uh, but it's also an imperative. Considering what we've learned with our technology already, it's absolutely essential that we try and see whether it can play a role in a functional cure for HIV.